I'm Ashton Addison from Event Chain for Investment Pitch Media and FinTech News Network. And today on Blockchain Interviews, we have Guy Hirsch, the U.S. Managing Director of eToro. Guy, thank you for taking the time. It's a pleasure to have you on today. Thank you for having me. You're very welcome. Let's kick it off with an explanation of eToro's trading platform. Could you please give us a short explanation plus your guys' unique value proposition? Sure. So eToro.com is a social investment network. You can open an account, deposit funds, and then in invest across six different asset classes. That's our global offering. So you can, you can invest in U.S. stocks, uh, ETFs, indices, commodities, currencies, and cryptocurrencies, all from the same platform. It's really easy to buy and sell each and every asset class and build really interesting portfolios. Um, we are known for being... Uh, to have a social environment. So that means when you deposit funds and you start trading, by default, your trades and track record are being shared with the rest of the community, meaning people can see how well you're doing with your own real money. And we built this kind of Facebook style feed at the heart of the application where you can post content about the world's markets, about Tesla, about IBM, Bitcoin, whatever you, you feel passionate about. And people can then like comment, share, and do all the things that you would expect from a social feed. Uh, a, few year, uh, um, a few years ago, we, we launched something called Copy Trader that took it to the next level, and it is one of our competitive advantages. And that is when you see someone who's doing really well, and obviously you trust eToro that verify their track record, you can actually invest in them. So you can put $1,000, $5,000, a $1 million behind that person, and then on that moment, all their portfolio holdings will be open in yours on a proportional basis. And from that point onward, every time they trade, you will trade at the same time, same price. So it's really kind of cool portfolio management type of, uh, type of thing. Um, we, we built a, a program called the Popular Investor Program on top of that, which essentially, um, so we track if someone is becoming popular and if they are, we invite them to that program, and that program entitles them to get 2% of the total assets that are copying them. And we have uh, quite a few people making a very good living just managing their own money on eToro. So that is eToro.com. It's available both um, um, as a desktop destination as well as mobile app. And we're obviously a, a blockchain evangelist, so we're, uh, we're investing heavily in blockchain capabilities. So now we have eToro X. This is our crypto asset um exchange and we have eToro wallet which is a multi-sig uh, cryptocurrency wallet and so with the wallet um so as long as you go through kyc ml on our on eToro.com you can then have the wallet which is a companion mobile app and you can send receive um in that wallet you can convert between the different coins and if you deposited funds into your account and let's say bought Bitcoin on eToro.com, you can then transfer that out into the wallet and from there to, to wherever you want. Um, so that is, these are our core kind of core competencies right now. Uh, but, but our future is definitely the blockchain. And this is where we're putting a lot of our resources and effort and, and, and mind share on. That's great, guys. Sounds like you guys have a wide variety of products already available. And I'm glad that you guys are on the blockchain train because most of us believe that it is going up. So I'm glad that you guys are a part of that. Now, when did you guys start introducing cryptocurrency products into eToro? And are they as popular as you expected them to be out of the gate? 100%. So uh, Yoni, our founder and CEO, have been an avid believer and evangelist of crypto from the very early days of it, I mean, his pinned tweet on Twitter can can show you when when he kind of got interested in Bitcoin was I think about a dollar or so. Um, and then uh, not a lot of people know, but uh, Vitalik uh, Buterin, who's the founder of the Ethereum Foundation, worked at eToro just before he went and started the Ethereum Foundation. Uh, he and Yoni worked together on a project called College Coins. And Bitcoin was first introduced into the platform as an asset class, uh, as a new asset class in 2014, as early as that. Um, so eToro was well positioned to capitalize on the interest in 2017 and early 18 on the va that vast interest in this, uh, in, in this asset class. What's unique about us is as they got into the platform, they got to know us, they got to know uh, about other asset classes, and we 
So we, we continue to experience growth, even though the, the prices of Bitcoin kind of dropped um, in 2018. Uh, and out of, I would say, out of the, the mix of, of assets that we have on the platform, definitely the vast majority of users on our platform, we have 10 million registered users uh, are in crypto to one degree or another. That's amazing. And I was just going to ask you, you know, how many active traders do you guys have? But to have 10 million people on the platform, sounds like you guys have quite the user base. Now, is your guys' user base actively growing? And do you guys also do an active advertising and marketing to grow your user base? Or is it more of an organic growth? Uh, so, so the answer is uh, to the first question is yes, we are growing. Um, we also just launched in the US on March 7th, and we are available in 32 states. Um, so we're now growing in the US as a region too. Um, in terms of, uh, in terms of uh, the, the, the sources of growth, uh, it's both organic and, um, and, and not. We, are, we have a pretty sophisticated marketing machine that we've built throughout the years. Uh, we are, um, I would say, very good at uh, brand plays as well. We sponsored seven Premier League soccer firms. Our London office is doing extremely well with regards to uh, building the eToro e brand um, uh, over there. And we also uh, are investing heavily in uh, highly sophisticated uh, user acquisition techniques. So it's, it's a mix of both. That's great to hear. Now, you guys must be getting some pretty nice revenue sources from having 10 million users. You know, wh what is your revenue generation model basically? Are you just taking trading fees? And do you have additional revenue models that you're also introducing? Right. So the, the, almost all of our revenue comes from marking up the, the prices of the asset classes that we're offering on the platform. It's very transparent. Uh, everyone can see exactly uh, our fees. So we're just marking up the spread on the different uh, the different uh, assets. So that's that's our core core revenue model, um, and it will continue to be that way in the foreseeable future. Uh, we serve primarily retail investors. Uh, we have some thoughts about um, uh, serving institutional customers too, but again, we're we're facing retail uh, retail investors. That's our bread and butter, and that's our that will continue to be our focus. That's great. Now, you mentioned you guys are on the blockchain train and you have a wallet already. You have trading for many years now. Are you guys planning on introducing additional products or services that are uh, with blockchain or just as well in general investing? What does your guys' roadmap look like for the next six to nine months in terms of new features coming out for the users? So first, eToro is 100% sold on the idea that blockchain is the future of the financial services industry. Every vertical every type of use case we believe that in the next five ten whatever years will run on the blockchain uh, so with that realization we're also transforming our own business uh, we're thinking about how to move our core business into the blockchain and we just announced uh, two weeks ago that we've acquired uh, um, a firm out of denmark called firmo and we're going to use the firmo protocol that they've built in order to tokenized financial assets. Uh, and that will be a critical component in allowing us to transition our business from basically trading in traditional markets to trading using the blockchain. Um, so we have a lot of plans and a lot of um, um, announcements coming this year about how all of this will pan out. Uh, but again, generally speaking, it, it we are 100% committed to, to blockchain and to the fact that blockchain is the future of the financial services in industry. So we're going to be transforming ourselves and then also adding uh, or looking to add additional asset classes as they emerge um, in, in the industry. That's great, Guy. And it's great to hear that you guys entered the United States in March and you're expanding. Now, what kind of resources do you guys need to expand are you guys expanding your team? Are you looking for outside investors? Or are you simply just looking for more people uh, and customers to use the platform? So we are definitely building our team. Uh, we're based in uh, Hoboken, New Jersey. We're, we're, uh, we're hiring for multiple roles, uh, marketing, compliance, operations. 
uh, so on and so forth. We're definitely planning to to build a very strong team here in the U.S. Um, that is tagged along with our uh, user acquisition and, and go-to-market plans. Uh, so you would definitely see us um, essentially adapting our playbook to the U.S., but still doing a lot of activities surrounding brand building. Um, we're going to be investing a lot in consumer education. We feel that that is something that our target audience really wants and needs in order to get into the space, either initially or if they already are, maybe expo uh, having more and more of their assets allocated into this asset class. So we intend to provide a lot of education, a lot of resources for people to understand uh, the risks, uh, how it works, the opportunities, and so on and so forth. Um, and that is, you know, coupled with um, all the other kind of marketing uh, techniques and capabilities that we have, and we will adapt them and, and build new ones here in the U.S. That's great, Guy. Now, if people are looking to join the team or they're just looking to sign up, what's the best way for people to either contact you or just to learn more, download the applications, uh, to go to the website? What's the best way to proceed? eToro.com, uh, go there, open an account, uh, try it out. We have a we have a virtual uh, portfolio feature that allows you to actually practice before you risk real dollars, and it's one to one um, to the real environment. So all the features available in the real environment are available in that kind of virtual uh, virtual environment too. You get like a hundred thousand dollars of you know monopoly money to kind of play with and invest in. So that's a really good entry point for you to 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 try it out. So eToro.com. You can also see, uh, obviously, our, our, uh, all of our uh, job openings uh, on the site. And if you're, if you're on your mobile device, just go to, to the, 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 you know, the, uh, the App Store or to the Play Store and just type in eToro and you'll, you'll, see, you'll see the app. Great. I'll leave the links to the apps and the website as well in the description box below for the viewers. And that's all the time that we have for today, but it's truly been a pleasure talking to you, Guy. Sounds like eToro is expanding rapidly, especially in the States. And I wish you guys all the best, especially since you guys are on the blockchain train. Um, and it sounds like you guys are making some big moves in the market. And I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys are coming out with in the next six to nine months. And maybe the cryptocurrency bull market, if that does come back, will help even further accelerate the growth of eToro. So I'm very interested to see how that will play out. And I want to thank you so much for your time today. And it's been a pleasure speaking to you. Likewise, thank you for having me.